a lot of people got jokes right about now. And unfortunately, they're a little bit too slow to see the whole picture and what I have introduced my audience to. The same way all these weird ass people just start coming at me because of my specific topic bringing me janky ass information doing the most online, it became clear to me where a lot of these narratives came from. However, as a blogger, it's your responsibility to vet the information you get, no matter who it's from, no matter how cool you think they are or how much you like their personality. Some of these rumors and allegations that were allowed to be used by the government in order to rehash old allegations and ignore all the facts surrounding it is what really got me upset when I started to speak out against the injustice I'm witnessing. And just for speaking out, I was berated. I was called a groupie. I was even accused of wanting to get with the man because I'm pointing out corruption at its finest being used on these platforms. The best rebuttal some of these people could come at to come at me with was, you not from around here. Some things you just can't research. But how can I take these people serious coming to the internet talking about I watched a tape that was supposed to be child porn, which is against the law, that I knew all these allegations and rumors and nobody in the community did shit but step in the name of love, I can't take half these people serious. But I know where I'm from and we don't tolerate this monkey ass shit or all these people implicating individuals, making it easy for the government to manipulate the facts and even use these bad act witnesses that they know will obviously be a conflict for this man proceeding in both a Chicago trial and this New York sentencing. However, we continue to see these motions being dropped in his case and all these news people talking about everything but the truth. <laughs> Yo, can I go with you? What? Hey, CP, did you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. Just take the call. Look, you got some weed? All right, hurry up. These and them here, everybody here, we waiting on you. All right. <laughs> I woke up like this. I woke up like this. We flawless. Angel la ciencia. These niggas say they niggas and they lie. Talk to him for, bro. Hey, Do what I got to say about it, though. Oh, God, what you got to say, Lee? I'm talking about you nigga not for me, bro. Oh, God. Y'all nigga from the suburban part, man. Oh, God. Y'all not for me. No, you're oh, not God, for me, bro. Y'all like 15, 10 minutes away. Now me, you from the city, yeah, nigga. You no. from where you from, bro? Oh, God. Tourists be trying to come to the city. They know that the city be killing. Kill. Nigga be faking like they really from here. Nigga, you not. This is not where you living. I won't from go say that, but nigga from anyone saying they myth. You not from you the city. No, say no. what you want, but these niggas be capping. But they not about that ass, and these niggas just rapping. Yeah, niggas just be rapping. dissing, they not on my level. You cannot be dissing, you not go be yeah, mad. Nigga be saying they live, they trapping. This how you got money, that's not how that happen. Yeah. Nigga be capping like they really from here. You were not born here, stop all that dad. Just listen to me, and I'm finna stay facing. I'm finna count racks and repeat out the me. Listen, yeah. stop hating, this is not Memphis. Not. All the brands, this is not Memphis. Not. Cordova, this is not Memphis. Not Memphis. Where Memphis, is not Memphis. Bother, this is not Memphis. No. Horn Lake, they not Memphis. No. Germantown, they not, not Memphis. No. Call your VL, they not Memphis. I probably heard some of y'all feeling with that, but I was just saying, little nigga. Nigga, saying. stop saying that you from the city. You not from the city with niggas be killing. I'm from the city with niggas wake up and grind. These niggas, they know to go get it. I got a young and he lost his mind when it was his birthday. He went to go drilling. But I gotta tell you again, you don't understand. Little nigga, you not it from Memphis. You hey, stop having it, not Memphis. No, no. All the branch, just not Memphis. No, no. Cordova, they not Memphis. No, no. With Memphis, they not Memphis. No, no. Baller, they not Memphis. No, no. Hard Lake, they not Memphis. They not. Germantown, they not Memphis. Call you Ville, they not Memphis. South Haven, they not Memphis. All the Brandon, they not Memphis. Cordova, they not Memphis. With Memphis, they not Memphis. Baller, they 
did not Memphis. No. Horn Lake, they did not Memphis. Not Memphis. Town, they did not Memphis. Not. Caillou Ville, they did not Memphis. No. Nigga, you niggas ain't from Memphis, man. I'm tired, bro. There go. Hmm? Because today, Homeland Security showed up at my house. And they're like, um, yeah, you have to testify. And I'm like, no, I don't want to testify. I don't want to go through that again. I testified in New York. I do not want to testify in Chicago. Like, I am done. I, I, in all honesty, I said, fuck it. Like, fuck it. I'm not doing it again. Leave me alone. And it was like, okay, well, if you don't, you know, participate and, you know, testify in this trial, then you don't have to. And I was like, okay i'm sorry they said if i don't want to i don't have to and i say okay good it's like but however you will be subpoenaed and if you're subpoenaed you have to show up and if you don't show up then you get arrested and then after you know get processed out and then guess what you still have to testify so it's a literally a catch-22 situation it's like a lose-lose situation for me like i don't want to do this so like just leave me the fuck alone. But it's not that easy. And this is why I regret the shit. It doesn't take a genius to see how the government took a lifestyle and a whole lot of rumors and allegations and all these people trying to sell their stories to look over all the corruption we've seen played out and bypass all the facts that have been out here showing the corruption around this man from the beginning of his career. People underestimated the power of social media, unlike back in the day when you can just come out with all these stories and associate all these people and let all these alleged criminal acts go under the radar and sell to the public that this man built his whole career around trafficking underage girls it's no surprise how the general public aren't recognizing how abusing these RICO statues is the actual problem. And if they had solid evidence to prove these allegations they've come up with, do you really think they would have banked on this conspiracy? Now, I find it very comical reading these last motions that were put in, especially when the government is pushing the issue that these alleged accusers want their justice so much when I see so much information that has been put on these platforms to dispute that very fact. It also doesn't take a genius to recognize this judicial system we have does not like to own up to mistakes and when they have flaws in their system and let other people monopolize their laws while so many underhanded Donations and contributions are given out to these individuals in order to pump certain agendas. Now maybe I would have took these allegations a little more serious had those individuals who have been implicated in so many crimes had been given the same prosecution as Robert Kelly. However, when all these people made it a point to come to the internet putting all this so-called evidence out here and associating these alleged crimes with music, that is where you draw the line. When I came out specifically talking about the Man Act and how it can apply to any given man, that is when a lot of people should have recognized, put the allegations to the side and look at the whole picture as to every single entertainer can be accused of this certain thing. And it's just ironic how the hypocrisy has been placed on one individual while so many other people can be in the same category. Yet you had this abundance of people feeling the need to keep pushing this underage theme knowing they could not produce one single minor. So we as a people should throw away a whole legacy based on the pretense that the government is planting this illusion. This man is just stalking McDonald's, picking up these little girls and simultaneously touring, doing all this extra stuff as an entertainer 
It was okay when he was at his highest moment, but now that all of his finances have been stripped from him, it's okay for the government to then come in and find a new way to confiscate some assets. Does that make sense to you? Think about all the accusations. This man is preying on underage girls, but all these girls have to conceal their age. All these people working for him are enabling this type of illegal behavior that they claim he's engaging in. However, none of them are being criminally prosecuted, except the two individuals in Chicago who were implicated in his first trial. Think about they had to create this public outcry talking about this man was holding hostages and had this cult and still to this day have yet to produce it and people are still holding on to these narratives that have been put out here in the public and fail to realize how it tainted the possible jury pool from the jump and the mere fact that nobody took it upon themselves to actively do anything about these rumors and allegations until shit hit the fan and all these people got implicated in their allegations now pointing all the blame to Robert Kelly. To conclude this video, I think it's very obvious to see the driving force behind a lot of these rumors and allegations and my stance is the same as it has been from day one, which is the government failed to produce sufficient evidence to back up the claims they have. So they came up with this conspiracy and we've seen how it played out on this world wide web. People like Me Too movement who played a role to get a part of a, a goddamn TV series to be a, a, their name affiliated with it and I ain't get a phone call. Even that you know, when these girls come from Tonya Burks. So let's yeah. stop making people false heroes. And I'm not saying that about anybody because, not the nation, because I know Minister Fergon, you know, he definitely spoke. I think he had a private meeting with him. Nobody really knows what the depths of the meeting went, but I know he did have a meeting with him. But these other ones that was a part of uh, Lifetime and, and all this shit, I, we need them. We need them to step up and them to, to, to act like they, they plan a platform. All we do is plan on each other as black people. That's it. The fame and fortune. That's it. I want to say this, low, and I don't mean to cut you off. I got to say this. I, I got to say this. I see who Tasha Unwind on here. I see you. good person. Look, Angelo couldn't even keep a straight face with that shit. <laughs> I want you to take what I'm gonna say to you right now. Right now. You got a big platform. I really need for you to hear me clearly. I need everyone who said what happened on that Lifetime documentary. Hold them accountable. Hold Lifetime accountable. Hold Bloom and Mary accountable. Hold these people accountable to make sure these people can go on Lifetime and say what they said happened. Hold these people accountable to make sure they talk to uh, Kim Fox. Make sure they talk to Carl Howard. Make sure they talk to uh, Homeland Security. Make sure they... In, in future testimony but Azrael knows where everything is when I say the tape she knows who's who she knows where the bank accounts are where the money is she knows who's who's using who not seen what we've been trying to show you that you've been brainwashed but once she watched that documentary and she read the emails that I sent over to her uh that he was sending to Joycelyn telling Joycelyn the same things that he told her he's um, hiding other tapes for Azrael, just like uh, London on the Tracks mom was doing, Cheryl, I forgot her last name, Cheryl Mack, or whatever. Um, and so I'm trying to tell you without telling you too much, because like I said, this is a federal case. And I've even helped out 
uh, the feds with all the information that I've been given. So I was working with the uh, department. Was it the Department of State? Uh, Homeland Security. One of them damn please. Homeland Security. My lawyers were uh, to hand them over everything uh, that we had received. Yeah, I talked to Angela. You got to get rid of Mason. You have to get rid of this public Because they are working with Adam this was a whole like this girl team thing. They knew about this from like weeks ago. Like they've been planning this. I know you don't probably want to listen to me, but please, if you that, you cannot let him do this interview on Monday. Like all of this stuff is a plan to just like put you apart and make shit worse. Cannot let who do an interview. This, this, they don't talk to guys. Like Rip me apart how? Get you away? Rip me apart how? Like, it's just all like, I don't know No, 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 I'm just be specific. Be specific. Rip me apart how? I, I don't know the how. Okay, I, I want you to find out. Like I, I want you to find out how and let me know. And when I drop the videos, the pictures, the paperwork, for him to get on live to say that Azrael is not right in R. Kelly, really, really. Now, I gave him R. Kelly's jail records. Ask him how he got R. Kelly's jail records. Ask him how I got the, e the emails between Azrael and R. Kelly. So you mean to tell me I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about? I'm going to stay. That the other person was in trouble. It did not. It did not. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. You think we don't know? And I'm not saying that they can't pull no shit. But what I'm saying is I'm talking about the article at hand. There was a reason why the article didn't say what it said. And for people to make all these assumptions and, and oh boy, to be a lawyer, you should know. If the fans got something, they ain't going to announce it. They already got it. And, and if they going to do something with it, they gonna do something with it. Ain't gonna be no reporter letting people know ahead of time what's going on. When you hear fed investigation, everybody know that. Guess what? You hear after they've made arrests, okay? You hear after that. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once. Shame on shame on you. If fool me, we can't get fooled again. All of this, you're going to see this in, in future testimony, but Azrael knows where everything is. When I say the tape, she knows who's who. She knows where the bank accounts are, where the money is. She knows who's who's using who. I've not seen what we've been trying to show you that you've been brainwashed with. <laughs> something. I just can't think of what it is. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Fruity Pebble Cheesecake. On some real, it's like one more, one more, one more, one more. Right? Hold on, wait a minute. Mm, mm, mm. It should be illegal to be this good at doing what you do. I love it. <sighs> Sheesh. One, wait, one more. Hold on, wait a minute. Get nasty. Look, I gotta go. You ever had somebody put cheesecake on it?